Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a basketball fair game. This is part seven in my how to build a fair slash carnival slash theme park series. If you are making the fair along with me, then this is where you are going to want to begin your build. If you have made the rather large white grid, then you can hopefully see the amount of blocks that we have to count inwards from the bottom, front left hand corner of the grid, in, and then in once again towards the center. That's the starting position once you've got that figured out. Here are all of the materials that we will use throughout the build. Please do make sure that you have access to all of these. Begin by placing a red concrete on the previously determined start position. Right of that place a white concrete, then another red, then a white, then a red, then a white, then a red. Right of this in the ground, replace the block that is in the ground with a sand. Then right of that, place a red concrete. Join these two blocks together using an oak trap door. Extend the end of our row backwards by nine using red concrete. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We now want to extend across the back of the build in a similar way as we did the front. So extending right, place a white concrete, red, white, red, white, red, white, red. And then just join all the way back to the very beginning using the red concrete. We are now going to dig the center of this area out and replace it with sand. There's no 100% particular reason why we are doing this. You can just leave it as it is if you like, except for the fact that I think sand looks a little bit better. It's a nice contrast material, so I'll leave it up to you whether or not you do indeed want to replace it or not. So once you have or have not replaced the ground, we are going to, along the back of the build, take every single one of the red and white concretes and extend them up each by four. One, two, three, four. And we just want to do the exact same thing, extending across the back using the alternating concretes. So eventually we will hit the opposite side just like this. So what we will now do is make the hoops. So if we start on simultaneously the top two corners of the build and we extend inwards from the corners, one, two, and then down one, this is where we want to place cobwebs. And on the side of the cobwebs, we simply want to place birch signs. And on the opposite side as well, one, two, down one, and then we have our cobweb just like this we need one more this is going to be in between the two hoops or the baskets whatever you want to say in between them and one row down so literally this row of red here drop down one cobweb and then signs all around we now want to place some iron bars on the side of the build so we want to first of all start off with rows of eight iron bars on top of the left and right sides. This comes all the way to the end, minus one block. We then want to place a row of six on top of the row of eight. So this is basically the exact same as the previous row, except we leave two blocks on the end. We then want a row of four, one, two, three, four, and finally a row of two. So as you can see, we just simply want to have kind of a pyramid sort of shape really or half pyramid so eight and then six if i can place these correctly these are a little bit of a weakness of mine and then four and then two and these are basically just to stop the basketballs just going all over the place and last but not least well kind of last but not least there is another thing that we're going to be doing we are going to play some basketballs you can kind of use any block that you want a, a block that i actually think looks quite a lot like a basketball is a pumpkin except i just i literally cannot get over the fact that it's a pumpkin but other than that i mean it's it's pretty close i think that you guys might might agree maybe it, it is very basketball-y I, I mean the texture 
Kind of, right? I mean, you know, I, you gotta use a little imagination, but it's, it's up to you what you use. But I also do like the orange concrete powder as well, and any orange block will do, but anyway. Next up, we are simply just going to place some prizes. So, literally just grab every single one of the heads that you possibly can and the scores, and we are just going to place these just kind of like starting from the bottom here, or maybe, can we place these a bit more strategically? I don't know, maybe we'll start off with just like place a four, one, two, three, four, and then maybe we can just place the two remaining scores just like above like this, or we could have repeats, or you could literally just place them all um, across. It, uh, it doesn't really matter like which which method you, you use. I'm basically just wanting to place these um, just on the sides just to show that those are the prizes that can be won in the game. And if you like, you can even place like chests underneath just to kind of demonstrate or maybe even like here might be a good, uh, good place to put it. Um, just to kind of like demonstrate that those are the prizes. That's where they're kept. And that's honestly, that's pretty much all there is to it. Quite a simple one for part seven. And that's it. I hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial. If you have, please do remember to like and subscribe. Click that little bell next to the subscription button. That'll ensure that you get all my videos sent directly to your sub box. And if you do want to make any more of the fair, please do remember to check down below in the description. There will be a whole playlist devoted to making the fair theme park slash carnival. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye.